Hello and welcome to Module 4 of Making Music with Ableton Intro. In this tutorial we'll be looking at Ableton's built-in drum machine, Impulse. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at the Impulse drum machine in this one. We're going to be going through some of the parameters in it and in the next tutorial then we'll actually create a drum beat and use the Impulse drum machine to do that. So I've created ourselves a brand new live set and I'm just going to go up to the top left and select the Live Device Browser. And if you go to the Instruments section and click the triangle to expand that out, and then click on the Impulse Drum Machine, click and drag that onto a MIDI track. So now the Impulse Drum Machine has loaded into the Details window here at the bottom. And you'll notice it's got eight different pads, all of which can have a, a different sample in each. And the Drum Machine has three sort of global controls at the far right hand side here and then all of the rest of these controls are individual to each of the pads so if you move any of these parameters it will be saved for that individual pad whereas these three the master uh, volume the master time stretch and the master transpose controls are all global presets so if you transpose it up it's going to transpose all of the drum samples up So it's going to load up our Ableton project just to demonstrate this drum machine. So at the minute I've got a kick, a snare, a closed hat and an open hat loaded in. If we just click on the kick, at the left hand side here we've got a mute button. If you click on that, it will mute the kick drum from our drums. And then we've got a solo button so we can only hear the kick drum. And then clicking that will just deactivate it. And if I just hit stop for now, we've got a preview button in the middle as well. So we can actually hear the drum. So we'll just solo the kick drum here and I'll go through some of the parameters below this. So we've got a start time, which just adjusts the start time of the sample, which is loaded in. So it delays it. So it doesn't delay, it actually moves the start point further in. So it'll remove the attack of the drum in this instance. And then we've got a transpose control for pitching that sample up or down. And then a reset button. And we've got a stretch control, which is just stretch that sample out or make it short. And we can reset that as well. And then we've got a soft control, which just adds a bit of a, an attack, uh, softens the attack uh, on the volume just to make it take the, the edge out of the clip. And then over to the right here, we've got a saturation control just to add some distortion. And then we've got some filters, um, which we're not going to really cover in this course, but it's something that uh, will be covered later on. Then we've got a decay time, which uh, dictates how long the sample plays for. So if you shorten that right down, you can actually cut off the tail of the sample, or you can have the whole sample playing by turning that up. And then we've got our pan control and our volume control. And then as I said before, we've got our global control so we can bring the whole volume of it down, reset it, or we can bring the stretch up or down of all of the samples. And we can even pitch it. all the samples together. And we can just reset that by clicking the triangles above it. And then if we wanted to quickly swap out a sample, we can make use of the hot swap sample, which is something that the impulse machine copes with. So if we wanted to change this snare, for example, we could click on the hot swap, which is just this big circle uh, of arrows here. And it'll go to the uh, directory where you can actually load things in. So I'm just gonna go to um, our drum sample folder and I'm going to bring in a open hat so that just replaces the snare with an open hat and when if you're happy with that you just click on the X and then that has been hot swapped out you can also hot swap through presets by selecting the hot swap button here at the top of the instrument and that'll take you to the impulse presets where you can load in different drum patterns.
So you can have a play about with that until you find something that you like. Okay, so you can see there how the hot swap control can be very useful for auditioning different drum packs or individual samples. In the next video, we'll use this device to create a drum loop.